All right, so here we are with our name and our plane. This is a, a green screen, kind of a special effect for Blender. This is part four. We're gonna go ahead, and if I go up here where I choose render image, you can see what it looks like. Let's just give our name a color real quick. I'm gonna click on the name. I'm gonna click on where the materials are here. I'm gonna add a new material slot by clicking on the plus button, and then I'm gonna add a new material. And I'll give it a diffuse color, kind of in the blue range there. And if you want to, you can go through and you can um, sort of tweak any of these settings that you want. You can give it some mirroring, you can give it a mirror effect. And if you take a look at the preview, it's rather opaque right now. If we go to the mirror and we increase, for example, reflectivity, you can see that, you know, that material now has a reflective surface. And you'll begin to see that as you render the image. Things that are around it will be reflected on this surface. So that if there was an object in front of it, you would see that object in the reflection. All right, so let's add a particle emitter because the goal of this is we're going to have particles trickling down this plane. So I'm going to put my cursor right up here on the top of the plane, my 3D cursor. And uh, kind of have to rotate around a little bit to get it right. Again, there are several ways to move that. So I'm going to choose Add Mesh Plane. Okay, and I'm going to scale this down. And this plane is going to become a particle emitter. Okay, and I want this plane to be above both the plane and the name. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move my 3D cursor just off to the right here, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a plane, add mesh plane, zoom in on it. You can see it's not quite where we want it, so we'll just move it. I'm going to scale it down just a little bit again. And these two do not have to be perfectly even, but you do want it to be hovering above the name. And right now it needs to come over a little bit to the left, okay? These two particle emitters will be emitting uh, objects of two different colors, okay? So let's go over here with the first plane selected. And we're going to choose the particle settings here. And we're going to add a new slot, excuse me, a new particle system, all right? And uh, down here at the very bottom, we're going to choose Fluid. All right. Um, now, when I hit Alt-A, which will trigger the animation, you can see the particles just drop straight through our surface. So I'm going to right-click on the surface, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to click on the ping-pong ball. All right. And I'm going to enable Collision on the Surface. And you also want to select the name as well and, and enable collision there. Okay? So now if I hit Alt-A, you can see these particles begin to roll down the surface. But they're bouncing kind of high. They've got a bit of bounce to it. All right? And they're ending a little bit early, too. They aren't really making it all the way. So we're going to fix both of those two problems. With the plane selected, I'm going to choose my particle system. And this particular animation for my class, I think we're going to make it 600 frames. So let's go ahead and make the lifetime of each particle 600. And let's make the start and end frame 600. All right, so I've just switched two numbers there, 600 and 600. And by the time we finish this project, we'll have 600 frame animation. And let's, and you can, you know, feel free to adjust all these things. Um, Anything you want to try is great. We've got one here that says damp, stands for dampening, all right, or damping, excuse me. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a value like 0.1, and you can adjust that. And that's going to affect how much this bounces and how fast it moves. So you can see that these particles now are moving at a slower rate, okay, and they're getting tripped up or they are colliding with the name more easily, okay. We're going to go ahead and we're going to make that same set of moves here for the second plane, okay? I'm going to add a new particle system. I'm going to set the start and end frames to 600 each. Lifetime, 600. I'm going to come down here where it says fluid, and I'm going to set damping to 0.1, okay? And that should be enough to where both planes are now both of our particle emitters are emitting particles that are sliding down the plane and colliding with uh, the text that we have down there. 
And right now we're only seeing 200 frames or 250 frames because our timeline is only set 250 frames. If we come down here and we set this number as well to 600, all right, we're asking it to generate a much longer animation. So that's it for part four. Uh, in part five, we'll go through and we'll tweak this out a little bit more. We'll change the type of particle that is actually uh, sliding down the plane.